Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the equation of the evolute of the given curve. So for the given curve, we have to write the parametric form. So we have a power 2 by 3. So x will be a cos cube theta and y will be a sin cube theta because when I substitute here it will satisfy when I substitute in place of x a cos cube theta here this will become a power 2 by 3 into cos square theta in the same way the second term will become a power 2 by 3 into sin square theta after taking common a power 2 by 3 we get 1 and we have it on the other side so the parametric form we can write by ourselves considering the equation given so this is our parametric form a cos cube theta and a sin cube theta for y. Now from this we can get dx by d theta. This is a into 3 cos square theta into minus sin theta. Now dy by d theta will be a into 3 sin square theta into cos theta. We are going to divide this to get dy by dx. The numerator will be a into 3 sin square theta into cos theta. Whole division a into 3 cos square theta into minus sin theta. Keep the minus here. And what are possible? We can cancel a and a. 3 and 3, sin and this square, cos and this square. Totally this is minus tan theta. From this, we can find its second differentiation, d square y by dx square, which is minus secant square theta into theta differentiation is d theta by dx because we are differentiating with respect to x. And this value reciprocal I have to substitute for d theta by dx here. So this becomes minus secant square theta into 1 by so this value will come in the denominator a 3 cos square theta into minus sin theta. So we can cancel this minus and this. Finally we can combine as d square y by dx square will become 1 by the sin 3a we have and we have sin theta in the denominator. This cos square we take to the denominator will become sorry the secant square when we take to the denominator become cos square already there is a cos square now it will become cos power 4 theta. Now we are going to find the center of curvature x bar using the formula x minus dy by dx into 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole division d square y by dx square. So this is a cos cube theta minus already this is minus tan theta so we can put plus tan theta into 1 plus its square will become tan square theta whole division we have 1 by 3a sin theta cos power 4 theta. Now using the trigonometric identity this will become secant square theta. So this is a cos cube theta plus tan theta can be written as sin theta by cos theta and this become secant square theta. 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta but when we write in the form of cos 1 by cos square theta then this whole thing will go as a reciprocal product it will become 3a sin theta cos power 4 theta. Now this is cos cube we can cancel with this we left with only cos. So the remaining term is a 
cos cube theta plus 3a sin square theta into cos theta. This is our x bar. In the same way, we are going to get y bar. By formula, it is y plus 1 plus dy by dx whole square by d square y by dx square. So, this is a sin cube theta plus 1 plus tan square theta by 1 by 3a sin theta cos power 4 theta. Now, changing to sin and cos form, a sin cube theta plus this is secant square when I take to the denominator 1 by cos square theta and this will go to the numerator as a reciprocal product. So, 3a sin theta cos power 4 theta. This will become cos square. So, now combining y bar will become a sin cube theta plus 3a sin theta into cos square theta. Now we got x bar and y bar separately. So, this is our x bar. From this we have to eliminate theta and this is our y bar. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to take a common from the x bar and this will become x bar by a. So, let us take, because we have to eliminate theta, so we keep x by x bar by a as, when a is common, cos cube theta plus 3 sin square theta cos theta. This is cos cube theta plus 3 sin theta, sorry, 3 sin square theta into cos theta, 3 sin square theta into cos theta. In the same way, we take a common and take it to the other side, y bar by a will become sin cube theta plus 3 sin theta into cos square theta. This is of the form a cube a plus b whole cube. So, when I add I will get one term. When I subtract I will get a minus b whole cube formula. So, what I am going to do is I write here x bar by a plus y bar by a. So, the entire term will become cos cube theta plus 3 sin square theta cos theta plus sin cube theta plus 3 sin theta cos square theta. Actually, this is a cube, this is b cube and this is 3 a b square and this is 3 a square b. Altogether, it is cos theta plus sin theta whole cube. So, we got x bar plus y bar by a. I take it as a common denominator is cos theta plus sin theta whole cube. In the same way, I am going to subtract that is x bar by a minus y bar by b. Sorry, y bar by a. We get cos cube theta plus 3 sin square theta into cos theta plus we are subtracting. So, we take minus minus sin cube theta minus 3 sin theta into cos square theta. Again, this is a cube and minus b cube and this is a is cos. So, minus 3 a square b because a is cos, b is sin plus 3 a b square. So, this can be written as cos theta minus sin theta whole cube. So, this is 
x bar minus y bar and we take common division a is nothing but cos theta minus sin theta whole cube. Now this power 3 in both the cases I am taking to the other side as power 1 by 3. So x bar plus y bar by a whole power 1 by 3 will become cos theta plus sin theta and again from the other equation x bar minus y bar by a whole power 1 by 3 become cos theta minus sin theta. Now to eliminate this we have to square on both the sides. Then we have to add. So when we square on both the sides this will become x bar plus y bar by a whole power 1 by 3 become 2 by 3. So here when I square it will become cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta. In the same way the second equation x bar minus y bar by a whole power 2 by 3 becomes cos square theta plus sin square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta. Now finally by adding this, this is like an equation when we add we can cancel plus and minus term and uh, this becomes 1 even this becomes 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so this side we have x bar plus y bar whole power 2 by 3 and I take a power 2 by 3 separately that is for the denominator in the same way x bar minus y bar whole power 2 by 3 by a power 2 by 3 equal to 1 plus 1 2 by carrying this a power 2 by 3 to the other side we get x bar plus y bar whole power 2 by 3 plus x bar minus y bar whole power 2 by 3 equal to 2 a power 2 by 3. Therefore, the locus of this center of curvature we have to replace x bar y bar as x and y and thus we get the evolute. The evolute is x plus y whole power 2 by 3 plus x minus y whole power 2 by 3 equal to 2 into a power 2 by 3. This is the required equation of the evolute.